Hi everyone, in this video you will learn how to treat blackheads on your nose in 5 easy ways so that you don't have to squeeze the hell out of them. But before I proceed, if you are new to this channel, welcome and make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss the brand new videos I post on every Wednesday. The first one is for not so severe blackheads, try salicylic acid. A blackhead is essentially a hair follicle that's blocked up with dead skin cells, oil and bacteria. As the pore is loaded with this, it expands and becomes a wide opening at the skin surface. When all of the gunk inside the pore hits the open air, it oxidizes and turns black and that's how you get the black blackheads. Salicylic acid works the best for removing blackheads and whiteheads because it breaks down those materials like excess oil that clog pores. And a clean pore means no blackheads and acne as well. Now. There are several ways to use salicylic acid in your routine. You can use a mask, face wash, toner, cleanser, even a moisturizer. What's best for you? Well, it depends on your skin and your skin issues. For example, oily skin might benefit more from a salicylic acid-based cleanser, while dry skin or sensitive skin can go for a salicylic acid-based facial mask because cleansers or toners might make the sensitive or dry skin worse. So if you are using a salicylic acid based cleanser, even if you have oily skin, I wouldn't recommend it using every day because that can actually dry up your skin. And if you have dry or sensitive skin and planning to use the salicylic acid based mask, you can apply the mask 2 or 3 times only on your nose, keep it for 10 minutes and wash it with warm water. I have sensitive skin and my skin is super dehydrated so for my skin, I use the peeling solution from the ordinary because it's quite harsh and can make my skin dry. I I don't use it on the whole face, I use it on my nose, put it for 10 minutes and wash it with cold water or warm water sometimes. It, the peeling solution has salicylic acid, also glycolic acid which can be better for the blackheads or whiteheads. Some people prefer to use physical scrub, well that's okay too. If you use it only once or twice a week but as I have sensitive skin, I don't prefer using it at all. The second thing is for blackheads that don't go quickly. Try retinoids. Retinoids increases cell turnover. As a result, your skin regenerates pretty quickly and you get fresh skin on a daily basis. That's great because that can prevent the blackheads or whiteheads formation on your nose. But wait, that's not so easy. Cause first, you have to be careful with retinoids cause this stuff can make your skin dry. You can use any retinoids. There are many forms of retinoids available in the market. Some are over the counter, some are prescription based. But if you're a beginner, you can go for retinol, one of the most popular over-the-counter retinoids so far. Buy a retinol-based cream like the one from Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Cream and you are good to go. Use it at least two to three times at night time and then your nose will be free from blackheads, trust me. You can also use a retinol serum like me, I use the 1% retinol serum from The Ordinary and I use it not only my nose but all over my face. Now you might ask me what about the prescription retinol? as well of course they work they are much more effective than the over-the-counter ones so if you get one that's even better the third one is try clay masks i mean there is not a single soul on earth who has never tried clay mask every skincare shelf has clay masks clay masks are handy and they can be pretty effective in treating blackheads how well clay masks help to draw oils and toxins out of the skin which helps to uncloak pores. That's why a clay mask is a must for oily skin because they help with unwanted breakouts. So clay masks treat the blackheads the same way they treat acne by unclogging pores. In other words, the clay gets into the pores and can gradually flush out dirt and oil which can cause blackheads. Not only that, some clay masks have sulfur and sulfur breaks down the dead skin cells that causes blackheads. My most favorite clay mask is the Kaolin clay mask from the Inca list it is pretty gentle and can be suitable for any skin type. No matter which mask you choose, you can use it once a week in addition to your once or twice weekly exfoliating treatment. Fourth thing is do double cleansing. I have noticed a massive change in my blackheads after I started doing double cleansing, trust me. Double cleansing is a cleansing method where you use two different types of cleansers, one oil-based and one water-based. The cleansing process is so thorough that it literally removes the last piece of excess sebum, 
oil or even sunscreen. As a result, the pores are always clean, preventing blackheads. But if you're not a fan of double cleansing, I understand you. Then I have something else for you. You can do only oil cleansing at least once a week and you will see significant change, trust me. For oil cleansing, take olive oil and castor oil with a 1 is to 1 ratio, massage the oil mixture on your face for 20 minutes and wash with warm water. Then use a gentle cleanser and wash your face with cold water and then you are done. This works the same as double cleansing I know but instead of doing it every day you can do the oil cleansing once in a week and then you are good to go. The fifth thing is use an antioxidant. As I mentioned before a blackhead is a trapped oil or sebum in a pore that has oxidized and turned black. But if you can prevent the oil from oxidizing, the oil will not turn black or at least not as quickly. And one way to do that is by using an antioxidant. Antioxidants like vitamin C or E can prevent the oil from darkening. I don't know if you have ever tried but putting lemon juices on your apple slices can delay the browning of your apple slices. Have you ever tried it? If not, you can try it today. The same thing applies to your blackheads too. The high concentration of vitamin C can prevent the oxidization of your blackheads. As a result, they won't turn black and they won't be visible. However, one thing though, it's crucial to use a stable form of vitamin C since unstable forms of vitamin C can oxidize quickly and cause more blackheads. So better to avoid any serum that has a high percentage of L-ascorbic acid because if you don't know L-ascorbic acid is the most unstable form of vitamin C. One of my favorite vitamin C serum is the RLC Everyday Glow Serum which has 10% vitamin C and it's one of my favorites. You can buy this one. It has perfect texture and concentration of vitamin C too. So these are my five super easy peasy ways to get rid of blackheads i hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new if you did please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to my channel you can also follow me on my socials the handles are given right here my name is salmin and i'll catch you on my next one until then ciao